Uh, you know, once you get to the final regular season game, it's just a, it's just a special time for, um, we have about 17 seniors uh, that meant so much to our program. And, you know, your last time to play at your home stadium is just a, it's a different feeling. Uh, a lot of things kind of flash by your mind that you've gone through to get to this point. And that's definitely the case with our guys. We have one senior captain, Dale Harding, that's meant so much to our team. Um, I could talk about each one of them, and um, but I know all of them will be up here a little bit later on if you want to, you know, get in, you know, talk in detail with them. But um, again, last time out for them, we want to send them out uh, regular season wise on a high note, um, and it's our rival too, uh, which. A little bit more incentive to uh, play your best football. Um, we haven't beaten them, you know, since I've been here. Uh, we're a better football team, and I know what their record is. But uh, I know, you know, this kind of rivalry week around a lot of different places, and kind of the same comments are being made. It doesn't matter what your record is when you play a rival. That's definitely the case. Uh, any team is coached by Pat Fitzgerald. You know how they're going to play. 60 minutes, you know, clean football all the way. And we're going to be doing the same thing. So we're excited about that. Um, we kind of moved on. There was disappointment, not was. And we were just totally disappointed in how we played our last game. Uh, didn't make enough plays to win in the end. Uh, but we were ready to go this week. Take your question. Well, the, the senior class, I think, all but Richie, you didn't crew. What's, it, what's the mindset of a player that bought in to you and this program at that time? Well, it says a lot when you have a choice. And a lot of times when there is a coaching change, uh, guys leave. I uh, want to try something different. As a new staff coming in, we let everybody know how we would run our program, what would be expected. And these guys that stayed all got on board and saw it the same way. So even though we didn't recruit them, they've been uh, as much a part of us as any of the guys that we recruited. Uh, so just feel like, you know, this is one of our classes that's leaving. And, um, and the way, you, you know, by there was a lot of disappointment. There's no way, other way to look at it. I mean, three years, haven't been to a bowl game. So for those guys to get a chance to leave here with a good feeling, good taste in their mouth, it's pretty important. What's this week like for you guys? I know it's kind of broken up different than the most normal weeks you got. Today's Tuesday, you know, that kind of thing. What's it like for you and how are you trying to manage that with the game coming up? Throughout my coaching career, uh, um, this week, I've adjusted the schedule. Uh, a lot to be, of course, thankful for. So Thanksgiving, our players are going to spend Thanksgiving with their families. In order to do that, we have a certain amount of days we need uh, to prepare for the next opponent. And what we normally do on this day is we move everything up. So that's what we did. Normally the day there wouldn't be a practice, uh, but we practiced today, went through our initial game plan day, had a good practice, I might add, today. So we'll practice until Wednesday and uh, won't do anything on Thanksgiving and get back on the routine Friday. Here, is that a lot easier schedule-wise? It's always easier when you play at home. You know, the, the, you, don't, you can take out that travel part that you have to do Friday. Absolutely. In the ideal world, in the ideal world, I definitely would like to open the season at home. And I know we're going to open next year at home. Uh, and I like to end the football season here. Uh, this year we got it, you know, we got both of those done. How excited are you guys as seniors for helping establish a culture you were wanting to build here for Illinois and now starting to see that start to take fruition onto the field? Well, I, there's a lot of people, you know, uh, that have a say in how your program goes. But if you're a senior that's been around here the longest, so everything that we're doing right now and where we've gotten our, the, the position we've gotten our program in, put our program in, has as much to do with them as anyone. And they realize that. When you've struggled and gone through the hard times and put so much into it, uh, you know what you've done. And um, I think this group will leave here. We've had some classes that have left here that have done an awful lot, but they didn't really feel as good about what has happened, what happened during their time. But for this senior group, you just look at them, first class to move into the building, uh, first you know, class in a long period of time to go to a bowl game. So there's an awful lot. And in, in a few years, hopefully the first uh, uh, a team, you know, University of Illinois team to beat our rival 
It's been a long time since we've done that. So these guys will leave here hopefully with a good taste in their mouth. Okay. Look, look, if you uh, asked for any feedback from the Big Ten Conference or received it on the non-call on Brandon's hit? You know, I was hoping I could get through the, uh, <laughs> the press conference without going there. Um, I'll just say it's kind of obvious what it was. If that's not targeting, what is? A quarterback was knocked out of the game. A penalty should have been called. It's just kind of simple as that. Our quarterback was knocked out of the game. He didn't finish the game, which hurt our ball club as we go forward. Uh, and we'll see how it goes the rest of the week. Before you get off to the seniors, is Dre Brown going to be part of this senior class? Dre Brown is not a part of this senior class. Uh, He's, he's a part of the senior class, maybe not a part of the senior class. No, going back to it, yes, Dre is a part of the senior class. I think he is. Kent, is he on that list right now? Uh, I think we all kind of know what's going on with Dre a little bit. Dre is a part of the senior class, yes. Last year, this was kind of like your bowl game, I guess, because you guys didn't have a bowl to play for. Well, one more time. Let's go back. Let's finish. Let's finish with Lauren. Lauren, let's hit you with this. Uh, Dre Brown is uh, is going through senior activities. How's that? All right, Jeremy. <laughs> All right. Uh, last year at this time, you guys were trying to steal one from Northwestern. You know, kind of spoil maybe bull or whatever. This year, they might be trying to do the same to you. Just what, what's the dynamic of that for? your team or what do you know they're going through? Well, I think last year we were trying to do is win a football game, you know, get a bad taste out of our mouths. Uh, Northwestern had a good uh, good season going. It was no more than that. And I thought we, that was the time, the last quarter of that game, I saw our football team take a step. Uh, Northwestern, of course, is disappointment, I'm sure, up north. But uh, whenever you play a game, you're just trying to win a game. It come down to one game. You have one game to play your best ball and, and leave. And in this case, for them to finish their season on a high note, I think it's as simple as that. But I don't know what their motivation is. I just know what ours is. Ours is to have an opportunity to win seven games is big. To beat our rival for the first time in three years, of course, is big. And just get back on, get another streak going as much as anything. So there's a lot for us to be to play for, and I don't think it's any more than that. How important was that final quarter? against Northwestern last year to kickstart you guys into the offseason this year? I think it helped a lot. We, I mean, they were the Big Ten West champions, and um, we played them. We had an opportunity to win that football game. So uh, you want to, you know, if you know when your last game, you want to finish it off on a high note. And uh, we lost the game, though. In, in the end, we lost the game. But I think our team saw what we could be going forward. Illinois coaches have had contempt for Northwestern. I covered them, I know this. <laughs> where, that word of contempt, I'm trying to keep going. Where are you, where are you with Northwestern? I, I, I think I'm where everybody else is that's playing a rival. I mean, you, you don't, you know, we've been in sports, and as you see, I've been in sports a little bit. Um, there's a rival you have everywhere. You know, uh, Big Sandy High School is where I went to school. Hawkins, right away. You know what your rival is. Every step along the way, you know what your, who your rival is and what's at stake. Uh, contempt, uh, d dislike, whatever words you want to use, you need to beat your rival. It's as simple as that. Last Saturday's game maybe illustrate things you team needs to do I mean, differently or better when the, the takeaway margin is not in your favor? Yeah, I think things you need to do, period. Take away the turnover ratio is important. And defensively, we need to take the ball away. It's about ball security offensively. But, yeah, that's one area. But there's a lot of other things. Starting off offensively, you know, running the football. We want to run the ball. Defensively, we want to stop the run. Uh, offensively, explosive plays. Not give up any explosive plays. Good red zone defense, red zone offense. There's a lot of things that go into it. We didn't do most of the things that we need to do to win a football game. We didn't do those this past week. But we'll get back on track this week. You're focused on the game this week, but what sort of opportunity is the pre-bowl practicing going to give these younger players to get that additional development that you haven't had in the past? We are focusing on this week, but uh, when you know that your season is ending uh, right away, 
it's big, it's huge. And I'm going on hearsay since I've, we've never been in that position. I just know, but it's an opportunity. We have a lot more days to continue to play football. And every day that you can practice with young players, it's a big thing. There's a lot of guys that haven't played this year that will, you know, in a few games will tee it up when we come back together. So to see some of those, but and then any of the young players that you haven't seen an awful lot of, We've gotten our program to a point where we didn't play, we didn't start 15 freshmen this year, but we still want to continue to develop those. So we're looking forward to those game, those practices. It's gotten significant reps in games. Um, just if he has to go, how do you feel about? I'm sorry, who? Matt now? Robinson. Oh. If if he has to go or somebody else has to go, how do you feel about your quarterback situation behind Brandon? Well, I, a, a lot better if that's the case where any of our backups have to go. But in the quarterback position, uh, Matt has played. I mean, we're down by 28 points to a good team that's one of a top 10 program. And Matt brought us back almost to upset them. So we've seen him play good football. And um, so if we need to do that, the last time Isaiah uh, was, was injured also, he's healthy and ready to go. So we have some depth at the quarterback position if it comes to that. Hopefully that won't be the case. Far from home this weekend. What do, what do they do Thursday? They go with somebody else. Or? You know, Bob. A lot of these things. I mean, we try to keep in house a little bit, but uh, but I, I just none of our players will be by themselves on Thanksgiving. Um, the beauty of of guys coming from all different parts of the country when they can't get home and be with their family. Yes, uh, we have guys that are from the Chicago area that will be taking some players home with them. St. Louis area area also so again that that's what's really neat about college football you get a chance to go spend time with other families and um, so it's going to be a special day for it bring people home or not there uh, the smith house uh, household will be full also absolutely Marianne makes an outstanding turkey. And Marianne just pretty much does everything else uh, well, too. I say that today is, is our 39th wedding anniversary. So, uh, a blind date a long time ago uh, kind of led us to this spot. So, uh, she's an outstanding cook. High school football teams playing for state championships this weekend. I know they're not here at your field, but any message to those teams? Oh, it's just a special times, too. Something that you'll remember forever. And it's tough to get there, to, uh, to get into the playoffs and have a chance to uh, potentially win a state championship. There's an awful lot that's going into that. We play, there's great high school football in our state also. So just good luck to all those teams. And hopefully those good Illinois prospects that we have competing for those championships will someday end up playing, you know, for their flagship university, the University of Illinois. A lot of your players say they appreciate you and your staff explaining the why is important to them. You know, why my job is important, but why this technique is important. When a lot of staffs will just say, you worry about the what, and you let me worry about the why. You know, why what goes into that philosophy on, on how you teach? Well, there's a little of that too, all right? You know, to do it because we, we say do it. But, um, but no, seriously, uh, we want them to know why. There's a reason why we do everything why we call certain things in certain situations. Technique-wise, it's been tried and tested on everything that we're teaching. And that when you're dealing with young people, most of them would do everything you ask them to do if they know the reason why and they feel like it can help them. So I don't know how it's done other places. I know that our guys have bought in and let us coach them daily. And we have an excellent coaching staff that does that. Sunday, you won't know where your bowl for I think another week. Is, is next week like kind of a downtime, or are you or are you still going to be working? Downtime. Uh, well, you know what I mean. Roughly. Uh, catch up with school. Well, we we know that we don't have a game next week. Besides that, whenever there's not a game, it's no different than a bye week. If there's no game. A little different routine as far as our preparation on the football field. Uh, recruiting is always big on a bye week. We of course will hit recruiting hard. But our athletes will, their primary focus will be on being a student during that time until we know exactly the schedule and when we start practice for the bowl games, yes. Thank you.